Good morning. Thanks for joining us here for Wake Up Charlotte to Go. I'm Ben Thompson. And I'm Sarah French. Let's send it over to Larry Sprinkle with a check of your forecast. Hey, Larry. Hey, good morning. Yeah, nice day across the entire area. Lake Norman looking good out there as we take a look from our Mr. Sparky Carolina camera network. It is a uh, clear day out there. The lake clear day just about anywhere you go. In fact, 11 a.m. this morning, right before lunchtime, we're about 82 degrees mid 80s at 1 o'clock and we head towards the afternoon mid to upper 80s as we take a look at 9 p.m. That changed to 10 p.m. at 75 degrees at that time. Show you how quick things change around these parts here over the next several days a drop in the temperatures tomorrow and again on Thursday also we're going to see a drop in the dew point temperatures that means very pleasant that dew point is 52 tomorrow really pleasant take a look at Thursday and Friday still very pleasant then here comes reality next week we're back into the upper 60s and low 70s check your seven day forecast today's high temperature around 88 mid to upper 80s tomorrow and again on Thursday here comes the heat to end the week in the early part of the weekend will be in the low 90s on Friday and Saturday could be some storms late Sunday into Monday of next week and that's your first one forecast. Thank you. Turning to more top stories of the day. CNBD investigating a deadly shooting in Northeast Charlotte. This happening early this morning on Waterwood Lane near the plaza. Police say they found a man dead in the middle of the road there. There's no information about a suspect. CNBD searching the area right now. Anyone with information should call Crime Stoppers. Good Tuesday morning. As the White House continues to urge Americans to get their COVID vaccinations, they continue to send officials throughout the area, especially here in the South. Today, Michael Reagan will be at the Movement School in East Charlotte, urging Americans to follow that message to get those COVID vaccinations. Charlotte property taxes will not be going up next year. City Council approving their budget for 2022. It does not include a tax increase. It does include pay raises for the mayor and city council. The mayor will now make roughly $40,000 a year. Council members will make $33,000 a year. Tonight, Mecklenburg County leaders will give an update on their involvement with the Lotta Plantation. The county threatening to pull funding from the Huntersville Historical Site after it announced a controversial event called Kingdom Cup. It described former slave owners as displaced white refugees. The event has since been canceled. I'm Tracy Potts. President Biden still overseas with one more day of meetings with allies. Today, it's the European Union before he sit down with Russian President Vladimir Putin. The president calls Putin a worthy adversary and says that he will lay out ways they can cooperate and consequences if Russia decides to continue aggressive behavior. Putin, in an exclusive interview, denies harboring cyber criminals and interfering in U.S. elections. Time now to connect the dots when we make the news make sense. We know 2020 was a, a rough year to be a kindergarten teacher. Imagine trying to wrangle dozens of five-year-olds over Zoom, right? Turns out, though, this school year could be an even bigger challenge in those classrooms. School districts are scrambling ahead of what could be the largest kindergarten class ever. Let's connect the dots. Kindergarten enrollment is surging right now after many parents chose to delay their child's first year of elementary school. Kindergarten is not mandatory in North Carolina, so even before the pandemic, some parents chose to redshirt their children. Kids who would be considered young for their class often start kindergarten a year late, so they have an extra year of development before starting school. Now, the number of red shirts is through the roof. In 2020, many kids were held out of school not because of their age, but because of the pandemic. Now, all those new students are signing up this fall. And many of those kids may not be ready for the school environment. A study from Rutgers University showed preschool participation also fell last year from 71 to 54%. That means for nearly half of this year's kindergartners, it could be their first time ever stepping foot in a classroom. And that is Connecting the Dots. A North Carolina teenager is ready to go for the gold in Tokyo after placing second in the Olympic trials last night. Meet 16-year-old Claire Curzan. She is a swimmer at Cardinal Gibbons High School in Raleigh. She has just qualified for the Olympics. Big congratulations to her and good luck now. Curzan swam the 100-meter fly and is one of only two teens who qualified for the trip to Tokyo. Big accomplishment. She had some of her biggest fans 
fans cheering her on, swim coaches and her family there. Plus, the community obviously thrilled with her qualification. Her swim team tweeted out a picture with another big congratulations and said that she is humble, poised, and ready for Tokyo. We are ready for the Summer Olympics as well, just a little over a month away. Can you believe it? Don't miss the opening ceremony. It's right here on WCNC Charlotte. Mark it on your calendar, July 23rd. Guys. I can't wait. So exciting. And congratulations to her. We'll be cheering her on for sure. It's just about a month away at this point. Can you believe it after it's been canceled and I, now we're I finally here? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. But I'm excited about it nonetheless. Of course, you can always watch us starting at 4.30 a.m. over on Wake Up Charlotte on WCNC Charlotte. Have a great day, everyone.